Today we're going to cover how to add multiple buttons next to each other in Elementor. For example, on my example page, we've got this button on top and this button on bottom, but we want them right next to each other. At first you might think the best way is to create multiple columns and put a button in each of the columns, but quickly you'll find limitations in that approach as the spacing is probably bigger than you want and it limits the kind of layout you can build. Say you couldn't have this paragraph extending this wide. If you had buttons split into various columns, you'd have to have another row here, another section. It just gets very complicated and if all you want to do is put two buttons next to each other, it's actually fairly simple. And so if we go over to edit the page, it's actually really easy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in a new container underneath the text here inside the existing container column here. We're going to drag both buttons inside of it, one and two. We're going to click the gray square here for that container. And then you'll see under items direction, we're just going to hit row horizontal and boom, that applies flex properties to make these align uh, going left to right. So any elements are going to shoot from left to right horizontal. We can also reverse them, go bottom to top, top down. Um, you can play with a lot of these settings. You could space them out using the justify around. There are um, a lot of possibilities because this is using flex and flexbox, which is hugely popular, um, almost the de facto standard for uh, aligning anything aside from very simple layouts. Uh, flex is hugely popular and hugely powerful. So I'm gonna go with this kind of wrap around look. I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit update here and then preview the page. And there we go. If you had them stacked, say, just at the start and hit update, you might find that they are um, actually closer than you want them to be. Uh, in this case, they already have some default padding applied and margin, which is great. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go to the first button, go to its advanced tab, margin, unlink values, and say margin right, and say 15, just to make sure it's uh, not going to touch or get too close to the secondary CTA. We can see that's now taken effect where now there's some good space between main CTA and secondary CTA. That's all for now. Please subscribe to the website's main simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these and have a great day.